So let's take a look at Sky Drift. This is brand new and it's 99, but then they've got a bundle where you can get the Eileen flannel piano and the Sky Drift. So you can see, you know, I've got this in Contact 7 here. And this is one of the reasons why I do like Contact 7 is because I can um, I can change the zoom factors. My screen right now is at, you know, I'm running 1080p. Sometimes it, the interface can be a little, a little overwhelming. And so I can just bounce it down to 75% and that just makes it a little more manageable for me. Let's just take, uh, take a look at this. And this is another library that has three, three sources, three sound sources. Presets. We've got Everything's stacked on top of each other. So we've got stack that cross fades between the three sources. Normal just has them all playing at the same time. And then we've got a really detailed edit section here where we we can adjust for effects, delays, modulation. Very well done, GUI. And we've got master effects. You know, it's it's like a rabbit hole. You can just you can just go down very quickly. So we've got some more drones here. Uh, Speed of light, let's see. And again, cinematic, dramatic, a little darker, I guess, a little more intense. Really cool. Let's see, let's go to more of the, uh, let's go to a couple of pads. We'll go to far light. Wow. And we've got strings and synth textures layered here. I like bringing those other elements in.
very rich. Okay, let's see. Some more pads here. In the beginning. Really cool. It's it, it's inter, interstellar cinematic pads. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let's see. Let's go to strings. And this is kind of cool because not only there are synth textures, but we've got these really beautiful um, string textures here. I'm going to go to shimmers. It is a mix of uh, synths and samples. So we've got strings here. Just look at what's going on underneath the hood. All these modulation sources. Strings, let's keep going with this, the strings, a couple of these. Uh, wow, man, there's so many things. Prelude. So we've got uh, cello swells and whispers and then uh, the design. It's just got a lot of grit in there too. Cool. Okay, let's just see what we get here. Yeah, so this gets kind of crazy stuff here. Uh, let's go to keys, uh, guitar, cathedral. Yeah, so this has got like, uh, like you know, strings. Yeah, that's... Let's see what the effects are. Let's see. Like the 
master effects. Source has its own ADSR and settings there. More, We've got some voices even. Um, some nice voice pads. That's nice. I want to mute that avalanche. All kinds of crazy stuff. Well, we've got, and we've got contrabassoon. So we've got a wind section. Out a couple more of these because it's so so much in here. Um, got some synths here, Prof prophetic organ. Let's see what that sounds like. Pipe organ. I'm gonna unmute the other parts here. I think uh, David mentioned that it was like 27 gigs. Yeah, 27 gigs. And then when we've got a, a preset pulled up, we can click into one of the slots 
and then we can select another sound source category, strings, guitars, synths, voices, textures, um, and then the string section. We've got, uh, you know, violins, basses, cellos, uh, harmonics. Yeah, let's see. The circle, circular bowing. Harmonics. And Soltesto. And then Whispers. This is still. But you can just pull up these different sound sources here. Uh, we've got uh, Ebos and like a dulcimer type. Yeah, it's just got a bunch of stuff in here, stuff. Voices. It's cool. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, we can actually, and we can randomize these things and it gives us a choice. We can randomize everything, uh, samples only, effects only, or LFOs only. So let's uh, just hit the all a couple of times. One, okay, here we go. It's doing something here. <laughs> and I'm gonna unmute these other things. hitting the, you know, randomizing things and going crazy with things. So that was just a little taste of Skydrift.